This is an exclusive excerpt from the Stuff File program with Peter Anthony Holder. There's a guy in Florida known as J.D. who really likes the movie Titanic. He likes it so much that he has amassed a collection of about 2,500 copies of the 1997 film on VHS. And he is aiming for a million. J.D. joins us via Zoom from Florida. Hi, J.D. Hey, how's it going? Just tickety-boo. Thanks very much for being on the program with us. So you have all of these VHS copies. Why? Why? Have you ever seen the 1997 smash hit Titanic by James Cameron? Several times. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Well, it is a smash hit 11 Academy Awards and baby, 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 they ain't lying. <laughs> okay, so when did you start this collection and why do you think you're going to get to a million? Because, you know, VHSs aren't exactly as popular as they once were. Are there even a million of them out there? Well, they did sell 25 million units, so I'm thinking a million be a little possible. Okay, so when you get this million, what then? What will you do with them? Well, our plan is to rebuild Titanic out of Titanic on VHS. Could you imagine? Uh, I, I guess I can. Yes, I can. <laughs> okay, so you have almost 2,500 right now. Uh, how did you amass the 2,500? Where did you find them? Well, I started making videos online, and people liked what I was doing. So I opened a P.O. box, and I just started getting tons and tons of mail, all filled with Titanic on VHS. And we've opened over 600 boxes on our channel, all filled with T on V. That's Titanic on VHS. When did you start this collection? September 1st, 1998. Take the voyage home. That's when Titanic came out on VHS, and that's when we got our very first copy. But we didn't start going heavy into all the collecting until about 2012, and then it really took off around 2020. Okay, so now I'm assuming, you know, we, we no longer have the video stores out there that we used to have. And I would assume that a lot of the stuff that the video stores had in their inventory is gone somewhere, maybe even in a warehouse. Have you received these videos from individual people or have you received the, some of them in bulk? We do have a lot of bulk. The biggest package we have so far is 55 copies. But yes, mostly individuals go out and hunt for Titanic on VHS for us at their local thrift stores or flea markets. And we just collect them all. We're trying to collect them all. And when you got the 55 in bulk, where did they come from? Was it from an outlet or did another individual have those? I believe they were all uh, thrifted. So, you know, people look all over for us and it's really cool. Have you reached out to the studio uh, that produced this movie? Uh, the, the video supplier that originally sent them out. Have you reached out to any of these companies to see if you could find uh, mass copies of it in bulk? I'm playing chess right now, so I'm kind of uh, waiting for them to contact me, if you know what I mean. I mean, I'm ready for it. I have all the space in the world to get a million copies of Titanic on VHS. Okay, so you do have a certain a bit of notoriety. You have uh, the website, you have TikTok, you have articles that are written about you. So surely uh, the powers that be, maybe even Mr. Cameron himself, are aware of your journey and the fact that you want to collect all these videos. Has anybody of importance reached out to you to help you in your cause? Oh, no heavy hitters, but, you know, we do have a lot of support from the community, from the fans, and that's pretty much all we need right now to help us, you know, just kickstart to get at least, you know, a few thousand. <laughs> okay, so, again, you got 2,500. Uh, dare I ask, are they all in English, or are you looking for video copies of the movie from all over the world? Yes, most are in English, but we do accept international copies. We have a handful of internationals, but not very many. And I know there's tons out there. So where do you display all of these? So in my house, I do have a dedicated Titanic kingdom, a Titanic room, if you will. And I have all the copies just stacked on the walls. It's just a Titanic kingdom up in that thing. What? Okay, so you have this kingdom... Uh, again, right now, you've only got about 2,500. So when you get closer to a million, heck, when you get to 100,000, I would assume your place is going to be a little cramped. 
We might have to build a house at a Titanic on VHS. If you know what I mean, we are looking in the storage units or potential warehouses to store all the Titanic on VHS, but we're not quite there yet. I know this is a very altruistic idea, and uh, I'm with you on that. But, you know, there are some people out there that are, shall we say, nefarious. I would assume that a lot of them are sealed. But are you concerned that you might get, dare I say, just the box? Just the box? Just the box? We do check all the copies of Titanic on the HS to make sure they're official. And you know what I mean. I got to have that real deal, baby. And uh, so far, yes, they are all official. Well, that's good. That's That was my concern. Now, I understand your day job. You are an editor. Oh, yeah. So uh, I, I am assuming that you have no loss for looking for a VHS machine. Because, you know, I actually happen to have not one, not two, but three VHS machines in my house. But by this, by that token, I, I'm also a bit of a dinosaur. So... I know I don't know a lot of people with a lot of VHSs around, and I would assume as time goes on, you'll know less and less. So, how many VHSs do you actually have? The physical machines. We have about six machines, and they're all plugged in to various TVs. So we're constantly playing Titanic on VHS in this house. How many times have you seen it? Oh, we watch it every day, so it's got to be up there, up there, up there, baby. Uh, you said we. Besides yourself, who is involved in this? Jack Dawson. I do have a collection of Jack Dawson dolls, and, uh, you know, they are the light of my world. Okay, I've seen pictures of the dolls. Explain the dolls to me, please. Well, back in the day, we didn't really have a face reveal, so we didn't have our face on the channel, so I needed an icon, and I chose Jack Dawson, the coolest guy from Titanic on VHS. And oh yes, oh yes, we took our time to build the perfect Jack Dawson and took them all across the United States of America searching for Titanic. So I know you haven't heard from Jim Cameron, but have you reached out or tried to reach out to Leonardo DiCaprio himself? I have not done that yet. I'm mostly just looking for Titanic on VHS. Okay. <laughs> so... When you get all these millions, and, and you, you do anticipate that you will get the million, first of all, when do you anticipate that that will happen? I think by this time next year, I will be sitting with a million under my belt. And dare I say, if you're not at that time? Uh, there is no plan B. This is plan A. This is plan T. Plan Titanic, and we will get there. Okay, so when you do get there, then what? And we rebuild Titanic at a Titanic on VHS and set sails to the stars. Do you have family and friends who are along for the ride on this idea? Or is it this just a one-man band? My family is deeply concerned. But I said, don't worry about a thing, baby. I got Titanic on VHS on my side. How old were you when you first saw the movie, by the way? I was six years old and saw it in the theater. What was it about Titanic that drew you in so much? James Cameron, Jack Dawson, Bill Paxton, Celine Dion, Captain Smith. Are you kidding me? There's so much to love about Titanic. And oh, it's so glorious on VHS. Do you have a, a second favorite movie? Or is this Titanic and Titanic only? There's other movies. <laughs> so Titanic is it then, is what you're saying. Titanic. Oh yeah, I love it. Well, they've made 25 million copies, so uh, like you say, getting a million, it's not necessarily impossible. It may be slightly improbable, but you know, I do not doubt you, my friend. I do not doubt you. If you say you can do it... Oh, thank you. If you say you can do it, I, I think you will. Now, even though you haven't reached the million yet, you do have almost 2,500 copies, so... Uh, have you decided, or at any time, have will you decide to reach out to, say, some people like uh, the Guinness World Book of Records to authenticate the numbers you have and maybe be the record holder? Because I'm assuming that there's nobody else out there collecting Titanic VHS copies. Well, I have reached out to Guinness, and they unfortunately said I can't be a part of the world record. I guess it's not competition-based, and... Uh, a few other factors, but I did reach out to Ripley's and they will accept me and I am going to be in the next book. Well, that's great. That's great. Now, 
Uh, again, since it is a somewhat outdated technology as far as VHS, you have no desire to collect them on, say, compact disc? DVD. CD. I don't think so. Blu-ray? No. 4K? No. VHS? Yes. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> so VHS it is. I gotta ask off the bat, are you always so happy? When Titanic's evolved, how can you not be? Well, you do know the ending, right? <laughs> oh yeah, Jack Dawson makes it to America. <laughs> oh, whoa! My man! Uh, how do you feel about, because one of my favorite parts of the movie, I only refer to him as Propeller Guy. You know the guy, right? I know the guy. H how do you feel about Propeller Guy? Propeller Guy? That's no Jack Dawson. That's not even Captain Smith or Jack or James Cameron or <laughs> Captain Smith. So you don't care about Propeller Guy is what you're saying? Well, it's no Jack Dawson. Okay. Well, again, you're at 2,500 copies or thereabouts. In six months or so, can we reach base again and see how much uh, you've collected at that time? Oh, yeah. It's probably going to be impressive. Well, it's impressive now. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of Titanic. It's a lot of Titanic. JD, thank you very much for taking the time to talk with us. By the way, if anybody wants to send you a VHS copy of Titanic, I understand there's a P.O. box that they can send it to. Can I mention the P.O. box? Oh, yes, please. It's P.O. Box 5355 Largo, Florida, 33779. Correct? Oh, that's it. JD, continued success in your quest to have a million copies of Titanic on VHS. And thank you very much for being on the program with us. Hey, thanks for having me. That's JD, whom I'm guessing has had a lot of coffee. Again, if you would like to send him a copy of Titanic on VHS, you can mail it directly to his address. Once again, it's P.O. Box 5355, Largo, Florida, 33779. That's P.O. Box 5355, Largo, Florida, 33779. You've just heard an exclusive excerpt from the Stuff File program with Peter Anthony Holder. To hear any or all of the full hour-long shows, visit thestufffile.com. Stuff is spelled S-T-U-P-H. That's thestufffile.com. A presentation of Flying Fish Communications.